the uh, liquid hydrogen team just got the go to perform slow fill for liquid hydrogen. Again, they just got the go to perform, to begin, slow fill for liquid hydrogen. Seven fifteen a.m. Eastern Time here at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Got an update on the liquid hydrogen loading. They are in stop flow at the moment. There was a leak detected in the engine cavity. Went up to 8%. That put it in automatic revert for the liquid hydrogen flow. Rockets in a safe configuration. Looking at the path forward. The leak is in the plate cavity around the quick disconnect, indicating that there is a QD seal leak. This is not the same as last time. Want to note that. Again, not the same QD as the previous hydrogen leak. This one has been tight in five previous flows. Just to overview, core stage liquid oxygen is flowing, but the team has reported that they will adjust their pump speed because the core stage, core stage liquid oxygen levels are supposed to be kept at a specific proportion to the liquid hydrogen. It's called the aft strut constraint. And it basically says that you can't be above 50% liquid oxygen until they have at least 5% liquid hydrogen in the tank. That is because when super chilled propellants, liquid hydrogen and oxygen go into this core stage, there it can uh, shrink the vehicle very minimally, extremely small, but that affects the struts which are connected to the solid rocket boosters. It can actually, uh, the movement of the core stage must be in proportion all the way along the vehicle in its connection points at the aft strut. And there you see a shot of uh, the engine bay there. And the aft struts, you can see those, they are the silver colored connection points where they are attached to the core stage. They attach the core stage and the solid rocket boosters. You have the solid rocket boosters on either side. They are not affected by temperature, but the core stage is. And so they want that aluminum core stage shrinking at the same rate at the top and the bottom when they load propellants. 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, T minus five hours and 15 minutes and counting here at the Kennedy Space Center, getting an update from the LHY team. They're currently discussing uh, some problem solving. They uh, have their liquid hydrogen line in manual fill after a leak developed an hour 15 ago in the 8-inch QD line that supplies the liquid hydrogen. It's just on the opposite side of that checkerboard target on the core stage. Engineers are discussing plans to raise that level to fast fill.